What is going on, everyone? Thank you so very much for tuning in on this Friday, May 12, 2023. I got a little bit of some extra for you, and you know what we're talking about here. I'm going to give you some wrestling tidbits on this Friday, and um, got some stuff to talk about. Of course, I'll give you some early heads up on what's going to be happening on Friday night's SmackDown tonight. Uh, we're going to be talking a lot of SmackDown on here. Plus, several wrestlers in WWE are happy to see Vince McMahon back. Triple H more focused on building heels. We'll talk about that. And, of course, some news on Edge. A major spoiler that I'm going to get into. So, uh, without further ado, let's get into it. So, uh, WRKD Wrestling... On Twitter, uh, said the preliminary plans for tonight's SmackDown includes main roster debuts for multiple drafted WWE NXT superstars. Roman Reigns continuing to lose trust in the Usos and deciding to take matters into his own hands at Night of Champions. So let me read that again for you people. Roman Reigns continuing to lose trust in the Usos and deciding to take matters into his own hands at Night of Champions. What does that mean? Well, I could say it's pretty interesting stuff. Being reported that Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens could be wrestling uh, Roman Reigns and Solo Sequoia. At Night of Champions. We all thought. That at Night of Champions. It was going to be Roman Reigns. Defending the World Heavyweight title. Or the Undisputed Championship. I should say. I got to get used to that right now. But anyways. Because of the Thousand Day Reign. And yeah, there's a whole bunch of rumors going out there. People in the community saying, Oh, Roman Reigns is going to be a tag team champion, man. Oh, he's going to hold the Undisputed Champion as well. Knowing the fact that they never made a single Saudi show before this one. What happens tonight? I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. Now, let me get into this news here that several wrestlers in WWE are happy to see Vince McMahon back. And Triple H more focused on building heels. So, Wade Keller on a PW Torch, his audio show, which I don't listen to. He said that he spoke to two wrestlers who are pro Vince McMahon over Paul Triple H Levesque. He said that the people who he spoke with are at least happy that Vince was back contributing to creative. Wade Keller continued that the wrestlers are more sympathetic or okay with or even somewhat happy with Vince returning. The wrestlers I talked to directly like Vince better. But they also indicated that they are not alone. And I just had an ad pop over here. And that there are people who are happy that Vince is back. It's natural that some wrestlers would think that they are getting a better push. On the Vince McMahon than Paul Levesque. Because every booker is going to have their favorites. That they like a little more than others. And those people get a boost with others. They'll be like. Hey. I think I was in a better position under Vince. Some of it is just that. It's purely based on self-interest. That they were getting a better push. Now Keller continued that one person I asked said. They think that Vince McMahon is more focused on building strong baby faces. And Paul Levesque has more of a focus and an interest in building heels. 
Keller also noted how WWE has already relied heavily on baby faces to carry the company. What are some names? Bruno San Martino, the immortal Hulk Hogan, Brett the Hitman Hart, Steve Austin, John Cena. You can also put The Rock in there as well. And others. I'm going to decline that. Um, I do po apologize. Were pushed above and beyond everyone else. Whether this is coming from Vince or Triple H, it is notable that we're seeing more heels being given a bit of a bigger push. Gunther, Austin Theory, and Roman Reigns are the top three heel champions who are being protected more than a heel would have been protected in the past. So let me just say it like this. It sounds like Baron Colburn. Elias! Remember, who wants to walk with Elias? Omas! Yeah, let's not forget about Omas. That sounds like a problem here. We all know that Vince is awful for television. Whoever these wrestlers are, were probably the ones who had TV time on the Vince McMahon. And when Triple H had some involvement, that TV time went away because just like the fans watching the show probably thought that they were terrible. Triple H also wants to build proper heels because he fucking knows what a proper heel is. The baby face and story is that much better. Vince wants baby faces. And the reason WWE failed with all of them under Vince McMahon's leadership is because he made his heels look like shit. So that's what I have to say here on that. Now let me get into the big story. And we're going to go back into SmackDown. So let's get back into wrestling news. So um, this guy, uh, Boozer uh, Wrestling. Now, I don't know who Boozer Wrestling is. I just had to um, look this guy up on Twitter. Uh, actually, um, you got to follow this guy. To get exclusive stuff, which I'm not going to do. But he is an insider. Uh, this person is an insider account. Okay? And he's already given scoops. On what's going to happen on SmackDown tonight. We just talked about the spoilers, right? We just talked about what is in plan for WWE tonight, right? For SmackDown. And... There have been reports that Boozer Wrestling has been accurate with backstage news. You know what? I might as well try and follow this guy. But anyways. So. Racing Waller. Remember how I just talked about uh, multiple NXT stars making their debut tonight? Racing Waller is going to be one of those guys. And he is, and um, he will invite the world heavyweight champion as the first guest of the Grayson Waller effect. Presumably, the invite will be issued tonight, and the invite will happen after Night of Champions. Now, typically. WWE, what they do is they use talk show segments to kickstart feuds. We all know in wrestling history, if you've been watching uh, WWE. So, right now, one of the major spoilers out there is that we could be seeing AJ Styles versus Grayson Waller at night, after Night of Champions. 
And many people on Twitter, well, his followers tweeted that they hoped that AJ is the person who Waller has on his guest. And Boozer replied, considered it done. So, unless plans change, AJ Styles might become the World Heavyweight Champion. Now, this is interesting because AJ Styles is part of the SmackDown brand. He's with the OC. So, that would mean that the World Heavyweight title and the undisputed World Heavyweight Championship... It's going to be part of SmackDown. I, I, I really don't get that. I, I really don't get that at all. Unless you move AJ Styles and the OC to Monday Night Raw. Now, I got a problem with this. Everybody wanted Edge to win this. Okay? And if you saw what Edge did, said yesterday. Edge now can't win because he's on SmackDown. I, I'll get more into this. Having a guy who was just, who was just drafted to the other brand... When you unveil a title that is exclusive to Monday Night Raw it would be ridiculous. I, I don't understand it. I would have loved to see Seth Rollins versus Edge. The story is there. Okay? I mean, the history that these two have had. And when Cody beats Roman, whenever that happens, whether it happens at SummerSlam, because I really feel that that's where they're going with right now. They're going with Cody Rose because, hey, let's face it, Cody Rose is going to face Brock Lesnar at Night of Champions, right? So, what do you got to do? If you want Cody Rhodes to finish the story... He has to beat Roman Reigns at SummerSlam. And you're already seeing what's going to happen with the bloodline tonight. You're already getting the plants being uh, seeded with the bloodline having this dysfunction. Now, I will say this. If you could put Edge versus Cody Rhodes for next year's WrestleMania. I, I wouldn't even mind it. Because people are out there saying, oh, AJ Styles, oh, he's gonna win. Oh, he's gonna go back to Monday Night Raw now that he's gonna be um winning the world heavyweight championship. You can't have him go back to Raw. Without a trade of a nut of another top talent going back to SmackDown. What are you gonna fucking do? Oh yeah, Edge gets traded so that Cody Rhodes can go to SmackDown and continue his feud with Roman? No. You would have to trade AJ Styles. To Monday Night Raw. For Cody Rhodes. That's what you would have to do. If you want. To see. The story. Being concluded. Man. I, I, I don't know what to say about this. Why. They're putting friggin. Why AJ Styles is going to be a champion. I, I really don't get. Excuse me, I got the hiccups. I really don't get that. But we'll talk about it tomorrow. We'll talk about it because I will be reviewing SmackDown tomorrow. So yeah, I got a lot of shit to talk about as 
we get into the build for Night of Champions. So until then, this is your Yankee Mad Dog Messiah coming at you here with another wrestling video. I'm out. Peace.